In today's video, I attempt the billionaire morning routine that has recently become quite viral on YouTube. I'm a huge believer in that a good morning routine sets you up for success, and I was so excited to give this billionaire morning routine a try. Here's what happened. The first step in this morning routine happens before you even get out of bed, which is to recall your dreams. I normally remember my dreams, but for some reason I struggled recalling last night's dream and after a while I just gave up. After you finish recollecting your dreams, it's time to make the bed. I normally do this every single day because I personally hate starting my day with a messy bedroom, especially since I am home 95% of the time. Once you make the bed, it's time to hydrate, so I went to the kitchen for a glass of water. I normally don't do this as I make coffee right away, but it did feel good to hydrate my body first thing before I did anything else. Now it's time to practice a breathing technique. This was a first for me, although I have heard of the Wim Hof method, my husband happens to be a huge fan, so I followed a guided breathing technique video on YouTube. Lie down, sit down, whatever it takes, relax. Here we go. In, out. Thought I had it figured out. When I thought that I knew what to do and I did it. In his video, Jim Quake mentions he likes to meditate for 20 minutes, but he really didn't specify how long he does a breathing technique, so I did it for 10 minutes and meditated for another 10. Now it's time to move. I never do this, so it was very interesting. Jim Quake likes to do one or two minutes of intense movement every morning to wake up his body. I'm so out of shape, you guys, so I opted for jumping jacks and I still struggled. I didn't like that one. The most dreaded time has arrived. I am a lover of hot showers, so I was not looking forward to this one at all. Once the cold shower is done, it's time to warm up again with a cup of tea. I normally drink coffee, but I wanted to stay true to this routine, therefore I made ginger and lemon tea. Once the tea is done comes my favorite step in a routine, which is to journal. Except Jim Quake does it a bit differently than what I'm used to. So I finished my to-do list and my to feel and to be. I already do a to-do list every single day. I like to plan out my day by the hour to make sure that I'm not spending unnecessary time on my phone, but I never thought to do a to feel list or a to be list. So I really like the idea of having these two and implementing them to my regular morning routine. So I'm definitely going to do that. This is my to do list for work and personal to feel i want to feel grateful happy and alive and what i mean by alive is that i just want to feel like i'm living in the present and not only focus on the future and then to be just what i want to be for the day so an understanding life which i want to be every single day a compassionate daughter-in-law again every day and then my highest self every day now it's time to read for 20 or 30 minutes i try to read every morning in my normal routine so this fit in perfectly and i actually really enjoy setting time aside to dive into a really good book it's okay that we change but it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life
In his morning routine, Quick didn't specify when he gets dressed for the day, so once I finished reading, I decided to do my makeup. One more time, one more time. I should have told you that I loved you. One more time, one more time, one more time. I should have told you that I loved you every night. All oh, that's on my mind. After reading, it's smoothie time. Would you have stayed if I had been honest with you from the start? I do have to say that when I first came across this video and I watched it, I kind of felt overwhelmed and felt like, like there was a lot of steps to this morning routine. But once I actually took the time to take a really deep look at the routine and actually do it, it's not as overwhelming as it may first seem to be. And a lot of the things from the billionaire morning routine i already do in my own morning routine i think it would be a little bit more overwhelming for someone who doesn't have a morning routine at all who just gets up goes on their phone and goes about their day with that being said there's a couple of things that i will not really be incorporating into my morning routine like drinking tea i need coffee i'm about to make a cup of coffee once i'm done filming this video i just am not a tea person in the morning so i wouldn't be able to do that i mean i'm sure i could if i really wanted to but i really don't i just love the taste of coffee and i like having a big nice cup of warm coffee every morning the next thing is the cold shower interestingly enough my husband actually takes a cold shower every single day and i don't know how he does it but i know that it does have a lot of good health benefits so maybe i'll incorporate that at least once or twice a week but definitely not every day I also want to incorporate more breathing and meditation in my morning routines. Those were actually some of my goals for 2021 and actually doing them today made me realize how helpful they are and I just felt so at peace and I think it's a great way to start your day. One thing that I will not incorporate in my morning routine is having solely a smoothie for breakfast. I don't think that's fulfilling enough, at least for me. I'm not a huge breakfast eater, but I like to have something with substance in the morning and although a smoothie is filled with so many nutrition and protein especially if you add on to your smoothies i don't really think it's sustainable for me and my appetite and in the video the billionaire does say that he doesn't do all of these steps every single day this is his ideal morning routine and i think that's a great way to live i don't think you should feel pressure to have like a super structured morning routine that if you don't abide by your morning routine you're going to have a horrible day i don't believe that at all but i do believe in having some type of morning routine established to kind of get your day started on the right foot so i enjoyed doing this morning routine i think it was so much fun and i love trying different things and because I tried a new morning routine, I get to incorporate some new ideas in my own everyday morning routine and I love that. I definitely would recommend for you to try this morning routine out for yourself. Take what you like, leave what you don't, and keep it pushing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.